to install Windows XP from a USB instead of disk, we need two resources. We need Win Setup from USB, this will create our USB drive and we need a ISO of Windows XP. You can download Win Setup from USB from this website, I will put the links down below in the video description. To get the Windows XP installation files, you can insert your disk into the optical drive or if you've got an ISO file like I have, you can use 7-zip to extract the files and extract them onto your desktop. And the other thing you can do is you can right click on the ISO and simply mount the image as a virtual disk drive. We want a blank USB drive, so I right click on it, choose format, make sure it is in the NTFS file system, give it a useful name, quick format, start. Now we run this executable here. This will extract the files onto our desktop. And once that's done, we go into this folder and run the program. All we have to do here is tick this box for Windows XP, click on the three dots, and now we're navigating to the folder of the Windows XP installation files. In my case, it's our virtual optical drive and then press select folder. Accept the end user license agreement and hit go. It is almost finished creating the USB. We will next switch over to a retro PC and I'll show you how to install Windows XP from the USB drive. I'm pressing F11 on the computer to access the boot menu because we want to make sure we're booting from the USB and not from the SSD that's connected to the SATA port. Here we are, so we choose Windows XP setup and there are a couple of options. Now, the method, how you proceed, depends a little bit on how your storage mode is configured in the BIOS. If it's configured to IDE, you can continue with step number three and then after the first reboot, step number four. However, on my computer, I'm using what's called AHCI SATA mode. For that one, we need to run the first option once. So I'm just gonna press enter. And what it does is it's identifying in the system what SATA controller is in use and it's loading the correct AHCI driver. And now we can press option three. It is now loading the Windows XP setup. So this is a two-step process. First, we choose option number three. And then after the first reboot, we need to make sure we're pressing F11 to access the boot menu again. And we choose to boot again into the USB drive. And then we choose option four. So it's a two-step boot process. Here we go. I'm choosing my one terabyte SSD. I press enter. I'm choosing the option, leave the current file system intact because I've partitioned and formatted the SSD under Windows 10 to make sure the partitions are aligned. If you're not sure what that means, there's a video at the top right hand corner for you to check out. We've covered that recently on the channel. The machine is rebooting now. I'm pressing F11 to make sure I'm getting the boot menu. And again, we're booting from the USB drive. And here we don't need to run option one. The Windows XP installation already has the SATA driver loaded. We choose option four, which is the second part of the Windows XP installation. And this is the final reboot. I'm pressing F11 again, and now we're gonna boot from the SSD and we can then remove the USB drive. And here we are, we just installed Windows XP. You can now connect a USB drive with drivers, programs, games, and so on, and take it from there. But yeah, that is the installation process, fairly straightforward. I'm just gonna eject the USB drive now and that's it. Fairly straightforward process. Any questions? Leave them down below. Always happy to help you out and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so 
and I shall see you soon with another one.